everyone assumes if you give negative criticism to World of Warcraft in general, they always think it's because it comes from a place of hate when really it's it's a place of passion, right? Like, you know, let's talk you know, with you, for example, this whole interview in general, when we're talking about where you started, what things have happened, this has built your this has built your career. World of Warcraft was what built your career, right? That'd be well, WoW is my favorite game. I love WoW. Like everybody always asks me like, oh, why don't you quit the game if you don't like it? It's because I love it. I love WoW. Like I'm never going to quit. Even now, like I don't care. Like I'm still going to play this game. I, I, I've played other games. I love Dark Souls, but nothing is going to ever replace WoW. If for the only reason being that I grew up playing this game and this game gave me something that I never had before, right? It gave me an even playing field that I could compete with other people that had every advantage in the world. But in WoW, we were just the same level. And that meant a lot to me. And it's something that uh, games nowadays don't have as much. And it doesn't matter, like, even people nowadays will ask me, oh, should I start playing WoW? I'll be like, yeah, what else are you going to do? I... I yeah, I, I'm an exception. I'm a huge exception. But if I'm criticizing a game and I'm upset, like I, I really don't like storm mounts, for example, or other things, like I, I'm, I want the game to be better. That that's really what it is. Is I, I want the game to be better. That is my main goal. I don't want the game to fail. And I think that's what, again, you know, there's so much misunderstanding when people, you know, look into something and they're just kind of looking in from the window. They're just peering in from the window, and they don't really understand that, like. That's what has built been built up for you. You built your career in on streaming because of your passion yeah. for this game, right? So your frustration comes from a place of passion. Well, also like in the videos, right? Like I like what are my original YouTube videos? You go and you look at them, they are all guide videos. All of it is I wanted to show and share things that I care about with other people. That's what it's about. Like I used to love making guide videos. That was all that I would do. How to get Shadowmorn, how to get uh, the Battered Hilt, how to do the quest line for it. All of those things meant a lot to me, and that's what I originally made the channel to do. Well, you know, man, I mean, keep doing what you do. And I think that people see that the people who know you or get to know you can see, you know, where you're coming from with it. And you obviously have a massive amount of support in everything that you have been doing. I mean, Again, it comes down to the fact that, you know, people understand you, you are human, too. You know, you are a normal guy. And I, I like the quote that you were saying. There was another interview I was, remember reading about you um, for, for this interview. It was like on the, on the news thing about you, if you go Google your name, um, where it was saying, you know, the difference between, you know, you then now is that you can have bacon on your hamburger or cheeseburger, right? <laughs> and yeah, it's even, about right. Even though you didn't have a baconator, you know. <clears throat> no, you know. One step at a time. One step at a time, right? But I think, you know, again, that's just one of those things that people really hopefully in time will take into mind that, you know, you do love this game. Um, you are passionate about it. And that's what upsets you is that it's... Well, I'm, don't I'm extremely that, right? passionate about it. And, I, you know, I am, I'm very frustrated with a lot of the directions that they've taken the game. I, I absolutely am. And I've thought about it a lot. I mean, you have to remember, like, what is my slash plate on, on my character right now? Let me look. My slash played on my character, just one character, 998 days across <laughs> all of my characters, 1,339 days slash played. Jesus. To say that I hate this game, I'd have to be a masochist. <laughs> you think I'm mad? Like, all the time, I, I can't hate the game that much. Uh, I That's the thing is, like, I... Even now, like, I, I, I hate to say it, but, like, the decline of WoW and everything has affected me more than I thought it would. It's been very upsetting and bothersome for me. And it's not necessarily because I've invested so much time into it and I feel like that time's been wasted. I don't feel like if WoW shut down tomorrow, I would not feel like any of the time that I spent on WoW was wasted at all. I enjoyed every moment of it. Well, almost every moment of it. And um, I, I have great memories to show for that. And I will always have those memories. Nobody can take that away from me. And it means so much to me. And that's why I'm unhappy in the direction that it's going in. Uh, people think that like my, my best case scenario is for the game to be in the best case possible. And for anybody who doesn't believe that, the more people that are actively playing the game, 
that's the more people that are going to be actively able to consume my content or the highest possibility to consume my content. So even if I was acting in self-interest, I would want the most people possible to, uh, to play the game. And that's why I have the opinions that I do. Obviously, a lot of people might disagree with them or whatever, and I understand that. I think that they're wrong. They think that I'm wrong. There it is. Um, I'm fine having a discussion about that too, but it comes from a place. It comes from the same place. Like I want the game to be as good as it can be. I feel like a lot of people that talk about the game in the same way that I do feel the same way. Many people, this game has changed their lives, and I'm not just talking about oh yeah, because you're streaming the game and you make money from that. No, I mean on a very very base level. It, it, like for me personally, I I started playing the game whenever I was 16. And whenever you're 16, you have basically no accomplishments, no experience in anything. Maybe you worked at Burger King, probably not. People don't take you seriously, and they shouldn't. I got on the game. I got put on an even playing field with every other person. Doesn't matter how old or how young they are, how tall or how short they are, how strong or how weak they are. The only thing that mattered was how smart I was and my dedication and determination. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I was able to succeed with that gave me a sense of self-esteem that nothing else gave me because it would just be impossible to simulate an environment like that. WoW and MMOs in a lot of ways are the way people wish real life would work. It's not this whole world where it's plagued by nepotism and people starting at level 60 with AQ gear and all they have to do is complete knacks. You know, like if they're born into a rich family, that's obviously the metaphor there. Uh, everybody starts at level one. Everybody kills boars to get to level two. Everybody goes to the auction house and they earn their money and they buy items. Now, of course, everybody, you know, knows about gold selling too, right? I mean, there's always... There's always shortcuts. There's always things that you could do. But the essence and the spirit of MMOs and WoW specifically is what drew so many people to it is because it gave them a world where they could put their effort into something and see a tangible reward. And in real life, that's not a possibility a lot of times. You can't get that. You work really hard at your job and you get fired. And wow, if you work really hard at something, or at least in Vanilla WoW and Burning Crusade, you could actually get something special. And the ability to fit in and be part of something bigger than yourself is a core human need. And WoW gave a lot of people who were introverted the way to step out of their shell while still having the protection of it just being online and grow as a player. And I think also beyond that, it helped them grow as a person. WoW is something that's changed thousands maybe even millions of people, at least hundreds of thousands probably lives for the better and for the worse but it's been impactful and that's what a lot of people don't realize is that the reason that i want what i want the reason that i say what i say is that the experience that i had was so for uh it was so important to me and such a formative experience and it meant so much that the only thing that I want now, I know I'll never have that again. It's over for me. I'll never have the experience that I had in Classic again. It doesn't matter what happens if they bring out Classic WoW again. Even if they bring out another game that's better than Classic WoW, it'll never be the same as the first time. And the only thing that I want is for other people who are the 16-year-old Asmongolds of today, who feel like they're worthless, who feel like they're losers, who feel like they don't mean anything, to give them an environment to prove themselves wrong. Wow. There it is. You have a uh, chat right now. It's like saying like the, the cue emotional music, man. That was, um, it's really powerful. 